So as we can see here, our new directory came with the davisdex.onmicrosoft.com initial domain name. Now, every new Azure AD tenant comes with this initial domain name. We can't change or delete this initial domain name, but what we can do is add our organization's real domain name to our Active Directory. What this does is allow us to create usernames that are familiar to our end users because we're going to use a naming convention such as username at davisdex.com. Now to do this, we need to create our domain name with our domain registrar. So we have to have our domain name that we want to use already registered. We're going to use davisdex.com. And if we go into our domain manager here with GoDaddy, we can see that I've already registered davisdex.com. Now we need to do this because we're going to have to add a DNS record here to tell Microsoft that we do indeed own this domain. So to begin the process of adding our custom domain, we go back here into our Azure portal. If we scroll down here on the left side here, we can see the option for custom domain names. So we'll go ahead and select custom domain names, and then we'll simply click the add custom domain name option here. What we're going to do here is tell Azure what our domain name is. Now it's important to note that the custom domain name needs to be an internet routable domain name. We can't use a .local here because we're going to have to, like I said, make the DNS changes to verify ownership. If the domain name isn't internet routable, Azure isn't going to be able to find it to confirm our ownership. So let's bounce back over here and we'll click add domain here. Now, after we add the domain, we see here that we're presented with some information that we need to work with. What we're going to do is use this information to verify ownership of the davisdex.com domain name. Now, we can confirm ownership by using either a text record or an MX record. What I'm going to do here is use the text record to verify my ownership, which is typically what I do. So what I'm going to do here is take my destination or points to address and copy this, and then go into my domain manager for the davisdex.com domain and create a text record. In the host field, we can see that we use the alias or host name. And then the text value is the points to address. I typically leave the TTL at its default and we'll click Save. Now, if you try to validate this right away or verify this right away, it will sometimes fail because the record hasn't propagated yet. So let me give this a couple seconds here, and then we'll go in and we'll confirm that uh, Azure can see it. Now, before we verify this, I do want to make a note that you can't use a domain name that's already in use with another directory. Now, what happens in production environments a lot is that organizations, when they start playing with Azure, what they'll do is they'll provision like a dev or a test tenant, and then they'll add their domain name to that test tenant. And then when they're all done, they'll, you know, they'll decom the tenant or they'll just leave it to die. And then they'll go in and set up a new production, and I'm doing air quotes here, a new production tenant. And then they'll try to add their domain to the new tenant and wonder why they can't do that. That's because Microsoft already sees that domain name associated with another directory. So what you'd need to do in that case is delete the domain name from the old directory or from the test directory. Now what we'll do here is verify our domain now. And we can see that it was successfully verified. So now what this does is tell Azure that we are in fact the owners of this domain. If we go back to our Azure Active Directory, so what we want to do is go down to Custom Domain Names. And what we can do here on davisdex.com, we can see that it's verified. We'll select Davis Dex and then make it primary. 
after setting our davisdex.com domain as our primary domain, we can see the checkbox has moved for primary from the davisdex.onmicrosoft.com domain to our davisdex.com domain that we just added. So with that, we've added our custom domain name to our Azure Active Directory. 